well known word faith preacher Bill Winston is in the news in the church news he's apparently had a stroke or something and it looked pretty bad I'm not going to take an opportunity to bash a man. I don't ever attack a man when he down. But it's always right to tell the truth. He and a lot of them word faith, faith preachers and the uh, prosperity preachers are in trouble. I think one of them word faith, word faith preachers died not too long ago. Yeah. Out of all my years of driving trucks, I have listened to them. There's one guy I used to listen to quite often. He used to come on in the morning time. Kind of subtle voice. White guy, I think. I, can't, I, I don't really know his name. I used to hear his name all the time, but I can't think of it right now. Kind of subtle voice. He never really preached. He just talked. If you don't have faith then you can't please the Lord. How are you going to please the Lord if you don't have faith and stuff like that? That's the way he kind of talk. I can't think of his name. But I think that word faith movement got started off the prosperity gospel or either vice versa. They both are pretty much in the same neighborhood. But both of them doctrines are false doctrines. Anybody go into a church and preach anything other than the gospel and do anything other than the gospel, the doctrine of Christ, they are preaching and pushing a false gospel, a false doctrine. The prosperity of the gospel is a lie. God don't want you to be broke. God wants you to be rich. If that's the case, why we see poor people and rich people in the Bible, and uh, very few people in the Bible, there was a God was wealthy. Most of them people that were rich in the Bible was was not of God. Very few were. Then the word of faith. I can speak things into existence. You all you gotta do is have faith. How y'all how do people not recognize this stuff is false teaching? Your purpose of going to church should be to learn more and more about Christ. And how into fellowship with saints and stay focused on how to get to heaven, not how to build personal wealth. That stuff is floating around. A lot of black folks are running around now, wicked women and stuff, having conferences, doing the same thing, the prosperity. They're going to bust hell wide open. The Bible don't teach that. <laughs> well, these churches are full. These people have built large followers. Large, Kenny Copeland, all these folks, they have large followers. 
Now I'm looking at the comments. Just pray for him. Don't talk about the prayer. Y'all, the man, that man, that man been pushing a false doctrine as long as he's been preaching. Him and Kenny Copeland, all of them. They know what they've been doing over the years. Don't think for one minute that they don't know. They know. They know they've been deceiving y'all. They know they've been lying in their pockets on this seat. First of all, the Bible says don't preach for money. So that's a strike right there. And they came up with these different doctrines just to rob y'all of your money. And if you continue to go to them churches and be under them false teachers, when you die, guess what? You're going with them. You're going to the exact same place they're going. You're not... Y'all not sitting on the preachers that not aware that they're preaching error. Y'all sitting on the preachers and aligning yourself to these people that know good and well what they are doing. Just like Creflo Dollar came out a few years ago and admitted that he was preaching tired wrong. It's a false doctrine of preaching tired. We know, we know it is. Tithing is not for the saints of today. It never was a church thing. It never was designed to put money into people's pockets. It never was about money in the first place. Man changed it to money. The Bible is not about prosperity of material wealth. Man said it. Y'all go and sit on these wicked preachers because y'all like the growth. Y'all looking at the numbers. Y'all looking at the eye candy. Y'all looking at what look like success instead of looking at the Bible. <laughs> Look at me. I'm successful. They've been playing that trick forever. Look at me. All you got to do, TBN, a lot of them went through TBN. Get you to send your money to them. Just follow my plan. All you got to do is just listen to me. Look, look at me. I know the way. Just do what I say. Don't question anything. Just follow. And I guarantee you that you're going to see positive results. The word, faith, healing, and all that stuff over the years. Y'all seen them gimmicks on TV all year. Peter, Peter, Pop, Peter Popoff selling water. They selling everything. I think it came out a few years ago. Kenny Copeland was selling carpet out of his house. Ripping it up. Talk, calling it anointed. Y'all fall for everything. Everything these devils come up with, y'all buy into it. Benny Hinn been coming out as a late confessing and repenting. He ain't talking about giving no money back. Donating money. All that money these preachers been done been taking off God people. Y'all gonna they gonna pay get rest rest assured. If they die in that sin, most of them are other devil anyway, so they ain't go ain't no hope of them repenting. Y'all might well forget about that. Well, if he just repent. The Lord, a lot of these people are the devil. They sold, they were, they, God washed his hand of them a long time ago. It's scriptures in the Bible. 
But God say, he give you so much time. You got to be willing and want to be right. These devils stand in these churches in these pulpits, all these, for many, all these decades, you think they uh, uh, are sorry about what they've been doing? Yeah, when they get down on their sick bed and stuff and see a little like in a life is coming, yeah, they'll start repenting and doing this. A lot of them will, a lot of them won't. But for a lot of them who will, it, it's not no, it's not a guarantee that God going to hear them, because like the Bible say, God knows the heart. You want to repent now, you want forgiveness now, because you down on your sick bed, look like the end. So now you want me to work a miracle for you. <laughs> God don't operate like that. All these years. These preachers been out here preaching in error or preaching in your false doctrines. You think they don't, they ain't never knew what they were preaching was wrong? John McArthur been calling a lot of them out for years, even though there's some stuff about John McArthur I don't like, but it's not like they haven't had a voice. Kenny Copeland been around dodging these preachers for years. John McArthur been around a long uh, Kenny Copeland. John McArthur been calling Kenny Copeland out, a lot of them out. You think they don't know? You think they are unaware of what they teaching and preaching for years is not right? Have Kenny Copeland came out behind Creflo Dollar and said he was wrong? Creflo, Kenny Copeland didn't even come out and apologize for what he said about Joe Biden. He tried to prophesy. He fell behind all the conservative preachers that prophesied that uh, uh, Donald Trump was going to win re-election. So he tried to come in there too. And what happened? Joe Biden think he's going to be the president. <laughs> Y'all remember that? <laughs> Joe Biden think he's going to be the president. Then he said something about COVID. You can just... uh. Blow it away or something. Call, they really called it a lie to COVID. The no conservative preachers. But John McArthur is, is a conservative preacher. He do some stuff I don't like when it comes, when, especially when it comes to politics. But he 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 have been known to call the prosperity preachers out. The word of faith preacher. He called them out. He preach on this stuff regularly. So it's not like they haven't had a voice. In, in a lot of these cities, I think Kenny Copeland is out of uh, Austin, Texas area. In a lot of these cities and towns, there are lower level preachers in these cities and stuff that they hear preaching against that stuff. They ignore that stuff. A lot of preachers have been reaching out to the false prophets for years trying to warn them of the doctrines and stuff they'll preach. They ignore it. The money is good. They too far gone. We can't turn around now. But they gonna pay for it. Rest assured, they gonna pay for it. That's why I try to tell you Hebrew is like, y'all worried about doing the job of God. You just go out there and preach the gospel. Let God handle the business. Rest assured, if he say some people going to pay, the scriptures and revelation describe people going to pay, it, it's going to happen. You ain't got to worry about it. Let God do his job. If you, they they don't preach the gospel no way. Preaching the gospel is telling people the truth now. Like Kenny Copeland, uh, John McArthur, a lot of preachers. Ain't nothing wrong with telling preachers the truth according to the scripture. What y'all been preaching and teaching people all these years is wrong. 
John McArthur is wrong too because he's one of them millionaire preachers. All his money he done made has been off of the church. And there are scriptures in the Bible that speaks against, over and over again, preachers, shepherds, shepherding for money. Don't do nothing out of obligation. Don't pay tithe. You're not obligated to pay tithe. Don't do nothing for the Lord out of necessity, out of obligation, out of compulsion. Everything you do, preaching, pastor, do it willingly, giving. Give because you want to give. Preach because you want to preach. Preach because you love the Lord, not to line your pockets. <laughs> y'all go to them churches, y'all ain't never heard scriptures like that. Gentlemen, after we hear some of them scriptures, but he still too. He made he done made a lot of money off of holding the Bible. All of them are in trouble with the Lord. That money got them. I'm not I'm not gonna say John McArthur is like them, but he got some issues too. But them guys ain't no hope for them. Ain't no hope. These word first preachers, these prosper, prosperity gospel preachers, ain't no hope for them. Ain't no hope for them. They've been lying. And deceiving people, lying to people, deceiving people a long time. They don't have many opportunities to get on TV and to come clean. They ain't gonna do it. Kenny Copeland's not gonna do it. He might be still asking for another jet next year. Jesse LaPlantis might be asking for another jet. Jesse DePlantis, LaPlantis, he, DePlantis, he really, he really proud from both. Every time I look at him, he talking about what he got and what he want and what he can ask for. I can get it. I need another jet. I got these many houses. I ain't never heard him open his mouth talking about giving anybody anything. I ain't never heard Kenny Coburn talking about having a weekend where he they just going to go out and, and, and do and give, folks. All the years of having them conferences, all them years of making all this money, taking in, have y'all ever heard them talking about taking one year to bless the folks back, to bless the communities? Oh, they'll go to Africa. They'll, they'll show they'll show like they're going to Africa and all them other countries and doing stuff. They that's a trick. That's a white man trick. They always have been doing we're gonna go to Africa and uh spread the gospel, give out books. We're gonna do that's a lie. <laughs> Why y'all got to go out into another country to do good works? Why you can't do the good works here in the United States? They always, they always got to go to another country and do good works. That's a bald-faced lie. When they go to other countries, rest assured, they ain't doing no good works. A lot of them are involved in wicked dealings. NRA. All sorts of wicked organizations. When I heard Jesse LaPlantis trying to DePlantis giving an excuse why he need a jet, he said he needed to up a new. This was about five years ago. I need a new jet up. They're able to fly nonstop one way. He didn't want to stop. 
to fuel up. What's wrong with that pitch? You don't want to stop to fuel up, which it was probably take less than an hour. Some ain't right about that pitch. I already got plenty of jet. Instead of asking for a new jet, you got three and four of them. Why don't you sell the, sell the ones you no longer use? Take that money and go buy another jet instead of begging the people and making them feel like they're responsible for taking care of y'all every time you open their mouth. Your mouth make them feel like it's their duty to come through. That's a lie.